Hi guys, today we'll be talking about um, our solar setup uh, and basically how we went about doing it um, from a novice point of view. Where do you start? Because uh, it, it looks daunting. So if you've only just like wired plugs and things like that, this is this is um, quite a lot of stuff to, to learn. And uh, but the, the information's out there on YouTube and things, so um, nothing is impossible. And uh, if you just find the right um, ways of doing things, you know, the road I, we went down was to look at a kit, first of all, look at kits. And once you start looking at kits and you start reading about well, what is that that's in that kit, you know, is that good? Is that bad? Is that brand good? Um, what is the best brand? And, um, you know, we, we chose Victron and I'm happy with Victron, very happy. So I went online and looked at who's doing um, Victron kits and what is in the kit and then you have to find about about whether what is in the kit is, is actually something you're going to use is it an up-to-date version do you want the up-to-date versions of things do you want the older stuff I, you know and we, we wanted to have the up-to-date stuff um, we ended up buying it all individually um, but we the really useful place called Meadow Tech so we use them um, for information and I bought the stuff from them. I bought all the Victron stuff from them. They weren't the cheapest, but the amount of information they were giving was well worth it. And I suppose they get a lot of people waste their time actually, that just, you know, tell me this, tell me that. And then they just go, no sale. Uh, Cause they, they, you know, they penny pinch everywhere. Um, you know, but the thing is, if they're good at the start, um, when you come back and you say, oh, I'm having problems, could you give me information on how to do this? They're there online to chat to. And uh, we didn't need that in the end, actually. We didn't need that help, but um, it would have been there because they, they were a good company like that, I must say. So, so yeah, I mean, um, and then we looked at um, how do you put it all together? You know, so things on YouTube. We went through lots and lots of YouTube videos and things, and there's some that really stand out and make things really, really clear. So um, Explorist Life was a um, massive um, find for us. Explorist Life shows you how to do so many things, and um, it has they have cal it has calculators on there that show you how to um, do your wire sizing, how to sort your panels into series parallel, which is very important, and um, and it's clear, it's really clear. He's got it's good camera work, it shows you how to do it. So, you know, I, I don't wanna be going into that. It's not my bag, this guy can do it. He, he does it really well. Basically everything you need to know, he's now doing, he's brought out more videos, I saw new videos, he's showing more and more things as he goes along, of how to do it there. It's more comprehensive now than when I first started doing it, um, but, I don't think I'd have been able to do it actually if I hadn't found some of his videos. It would have taken, well, it would have definitely taken me a lot longer. His stuff's only 12 volt and 24 volt. And, um, but it's the same sort of kit. You know, once you know how to set up your MPPTs and things like that, he shows you how to do it all. It doesn't matter if it's 48 volt or 12 volt or 24 volt. Um, it's the same thing. It's just, um, thing that is different is the fuses are different. Um, for a 48 volt system and they are harder to find. Um, finding fuses for it was probably my biggest headache in this country actually from putting the Victron stuff together because I actually had to up my wire size a bit because I couldn't get a 48 volt or they do more than that actually. I think they're 58 volt or 70 volt VDC they're, they're, they're classed as and trying to get say an 80 amp one of those they don't seem to have them. 125, 200, 250 and 300 amp ones are there, but nothing in between and nothing lower. So when you're using smaller wire and you want to protect the wire, you've got to go for a, up your wire, really. You know, you don't want to go for a, a larger amperage fuse on a thin wire, you know, it's no good. It won't protect that wire and that's the purpose of it. So, you know, if you've got a, a wire that's, you know, 30 amps, putting 125 amp fuse on, it's not really any good. So um, that's one thing I had to do is up my wire size and um, it's quite annoying really. But that, um, 
Yeah, that was a, that was one of the, the stopping blocks for me. Um, that had been it would have been easier to go um, 24 volt, 12 volt, but apparently you lose the efficiencies of of having a 48 volt system. It's much more efficient. So I've heard. We went to a place called Midsummer in the UK, and they um, have a tool on their website. Put in the dimensions of your roof, and it uh, works out what panels um, will fit on that roof, and um, even the cable, how many MC4 connectors you need, and everything like that. So, um, it's really it's a really useful tool, and. Um, if you find these things, it makes life so much easier. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you like uh, these videos, um, like and subscribe. Uh, if you click the bell sign, uh, you'll get uh, notifications when new videos come out, uh, especially if you want to see our overview of our system. We're going to try and do that over Christmas time and um, uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.